All right, calm down. Cat wants to get out. Good morning. So it's A Level Results Day, and I've decided because apparently I like to put myself through stress and pain to open my A Level Results on camera. The worst alternative would be to do it on a live show. No, not doing that. <sighs> I'm very stressed right now. I woke I woke up about 13 times last night. So I didn't go to bed until 3 and I woke up at 8. And then between those times I woke up 13 times. I went for a wander at one point because I could not sleep. And I'm just, like you can probably tell, and like I'm a bit breathless as well. Although I did just run up two flights of stairs. So yeah, A level results. I'm gonna do that on camera because gotta get that content. I mean it was partly that. And also, some of you, if you've been around for a couple of years, will know that um, everything that happened August two years ago, if you know, you know. Um, I might just put a clip of the video here or something, because I don't want to go into it right now, although I do have a blog post coming with more details. This video is about my crowdfunder. We did it. We raised all the money. But we, we raised the money in a week and a day, which is crazy almost as crazy as my hair right now. I, I will never be able to thank you enough for all the help you've given me. Um, I'm gonna try really really hard to give it back somehow. Like not financially because I'll probably never be able to do that. Uh, we were saying earlier uh, in the programme, it's a big week if you've got um, GCSEs and, you, and you've taken those exams because the results are out later this week. Uh, but for our next guest who you're about to meet, getting to the actual exam hall was her toughest test. Yeah, she's an incredible girl, 16-year-old Amber Kirkford. I'm going to try really hard at college to get good grades for me and for you because you gave me the opportunity to go there. So yeah, I just thought it's the end of the road and it would be nice to bring you guys along with me, maybe, I don't know. If I get really bad grades this is going to be really embarrassing, so <laughs> you might not even see this. We will see. Will this end up on the internet or won't it? I did English Literature and Media Studies and last year I did AS English Literature and AS Media Studies but we couldn't find an exam centre to do my Media Studies. So last year I only did my English exam and got the grade. I got an A last year. This year I did AS Media Studies, A2 Media Studies and A2 English Lit. So basically I did three A levels this year. Um, so, because if you're confused as to why I get three results today, that's why even though I only did two subjects. So, I don't know which I'm most nervous about. There was a massive error in my English Literature paper, not from me but from the exam board. And I can't quite remember what the error was, but it was something like... So we had to study an anthology of poems for a year, and we knew that there would be a poem in the exam that we would have to analyse, um, but that it would definitely be from this list that we had studied. It was not from the list. So I went into the exam, I opened the paper, I'd never even heard of this poem in my life, so I did the... I analysed it anyway because the other question that we could choose I just didn't feel confident with it. So I did that and basically there's a bit of paper in here, these are my re English results, there's a bit of paper in here that basically um, has the mark breakdown um, so that we can see if the error affected me or not. So I'm not sure if they've given me extra marks, I don't know until I look at that extra bit of paper. Um, I'm so out of breath. <laughs> Oh my god, I need to calm down. Media studies, um, I've got the result ready, I haven't looked at it, I got an email. Um, so, that came through about two hours ago and I've just, I didn't open it, I was just like, no, I don't want to know yet. So yeah, I don't know which one I'm most nervous about. I think maybe slightly media studies, because even though I've had consistent A's and A stars throughout the entire two year course, um, I've never had an official media studies exam result before, whereas with English I did it at GCSE, AS, I've got a track record basically. Right. I'm just delaying, like I don't... 
This is kind of like Christmas, not in a good way, but I mean like I always prefer the lead up to Christmas as, as opposed to actual Christmas day because at least in the lead up you've got something to look forward to and it's similar with this, like you've got a bit of hope whereas as soon as you open the envelope that's it and you're done forever. Um, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna do it. I'm really scared, I don't want to. I put in, s I worked the hardest I've ever worked for these exams in this coursework. Like, if I don't get good grades, I'm gonna be really annoyed because I'm a perfectionist and I just put a lot of pressure on myself. And yeah, that's just my issue. <laughs> I'm gonna open the email first. So that's AQA, AS Media Studies and A2 Media Studies. I'm like trying not to look at my phone but at the same time opening the email. I'm scared. I don't want to do it. I'm going to do it line by line. <laughs> this is genuine by the way. Like I'm legit. My heart is racing right now. Attached is your A-level results. Regards, Colin. That doesn't give anything away. Why have you not said like congratulations or something? Okay, I'm downloading it now. Oh my god. Uh, I don't want to see it. Oh, it's an image. I'm like trying to do it without looking, it's Why can't I open the image? This is ruining the moment, it's not opening. Save image. I bet I look like an old person using a phone right now. Okay, it's in my camera roll. I'm gonna locate the picture. Oh God, I don't want to. June 2017, center, don't need to read that out. Oh, my heart is going so fast right now. Uh, oh my god, I'm freaking out. <laughs> so, the exam... Right, I'm going to do AS first. So the exam for my AS media, I got an A. For my coursework in AS media, I got an, an A. In A level, in the exam, Basically my overall, I'm so confused, so for AS I got an overall A, for A2 I got an overall B, which I'm kind of disappointed by because my teacher was always like, oh you're definitely getting an A star on A, like there was no question about it, she was like, you are getting an A star, and I was like, mm, okay, like I didn't really believe it, but if she was saying it then she must have been kind of right. Uh, uh what am i looking at i'm very surprised that i only got a c in my a level a2 coursework because i went like above and beyond like that was absolutely a star that's what everyone said so eh. okay well i mean it wasn't horrific but english uh. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Why am I putting myself through this? I am freaking out. Oh god, I'm scared. <laughs> I really want to have done well. I got I got an A in this. I got a C in this at GCSE. I got an A at AS level. So this could really go either way. And this is the one where there was an error in my paper. <laughs> I don't want to know. I got an A. Yes! Oh my god. What? Oh, that's good. Because uh, that was the one with the error in my paper and I was like freaking out because I was like, did not expect that. It completely threw me in the exam. Oh my god. I really wanted straight A's. Also, why have I never had an A star? I got loads of A stars at school. You put me in an exam, I just don't get any. It's sad. So I can apply for extra marks or something if I think the grade is too low but this process could also result in a lowering of the grade or well, I got an A, I'm going to hold on to that I could get an A star, who knows, but I could also get a B so I'll just hang on to the A so yeah, I mean, pretty good so that means that overall at A level completely I got A, 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 B if you liked that video I don't know if that's the kind of video you can enjoy but please give it a thumbs up Comment what you got because I'd love to know and I will see you very soon. I'm li literally still really freaking out. <laughs> like, ooh.